Hey, been a while since making a video. I wanted to make one of my home network as it stands currently. So this is the Unified Dream Machine SE currently doing its thing. It's being supplied by AT&T DSL at like 15 megabits, but in the next two weeks we're about to get fiber internet, so I'll have 920 megabits. So the way this is set up is the incoming line from the AT&T router in the other room goes into this little surge protector block here and then that goes into the WAN port over there got another a little Cisco switch up here for the non-unify stuff and these have actually have PoE and PoE Plus ports on them and for Wi-Fi if we go out here I have the ubiquity access points. There's one here and there's one on the upper floor. And those have subnetted networks. There's a guest network that's segregated from my main network. And then there's an IoT network for things like the Roku box and the little VOIP little VoIP box over here. This is the home phone system. It's an analog Panasonic phone system. Here's one of the Panasonic phones. This has all my rotary phones and old telephones plugged into it. I've got um, these jacks are going inside here. We can open this up. There's inside of it and punch down block and then the wires out to the different jacks around the house. So this wire is going to be where the new internet is coming in. They're going to install, I believe, a um, optical network terminal on the side of the house. They've already marked the ground where the cable is going to be run, where the fiber optic cable is going to be run, coming to the side of the house, and where the demark for that's going to be. So I've ran this cable through there, and it goes over to where that's going to be in. Once it's fully installed, it'll be secured to the ceiling with cable straps. And here's the Google Voice ATA. This is providing Google Voice service to the Panasonic system and to the phones. So that's how that works. There's the back of the Ubiquity um, camera system down there. It's not on a network or it's on its own private network. And I'm probably going to add a patch panel in. I've got that one right there. And neaten these wires up a little bit. But right now, 90% of the house is run off the Wi-Fi. So, and we don't need the PoE injectors anymore. Although for this access point I just showed you, for whatever reason, it is does not like the, it won't work with the PoE out of, the UDM so I think it's the older 24 volt PoE and I even set the port to 24 volt passive and it still wouldn't power it so it's gonna it has to use the injector but I set set up for now and I will update it whenever we get fiber and I will probably have the fiber modem sitting here well it's coming in on cat5 fiber to the D mark and then Cat5 to the actual device, and I'll probably, hopefully, be able to set it to DMZ or IP pass through so the UDM is getting the actual public IP because this has a full IPS slash IDS on it, which is now configured. So, this will be my primary firewall and internet gateway, and I don't have to worry about having a double NAT with the stupid AT&T box, but that's it for now. Try to make some more videos. I've just been really, really busy. Had a lot of, a lot of stuff. A lot of good, a lot of crazy, a lot of WTF, but that's it for now, and hopefully update this and show you with some better cable management on it. Thanks for watching.